Today I like to talk about neck pain. Neck pain become more and more common in a younger generation because they constantly look at their phone and a computer. So the muscle become very tight. And the tight muscle can irritate nerves and blood vessel. The nerves from your feet and every internal organs go through the neck and send information to your brain. So if the muscle in the neck area get shortened and become spasm, it will irritate the nerves and cut out the circulation to your brain, to your eyes. So you can develop a dizziness, vision problems, anxiety, difficulty breathing, and even heart problems. So in order to avoid muscle spasm in the neck area, you can do stretching exercises, acupressure, and every two, three weeks, you need to do acupuncture to stretch those muscle so that it won't get to the point the muscle spasm irritates the nerves. Now, I'm going to show you some points. You can do the acupressure every day before you go to bed and relax those neck muscle so that you can sleep through the night without tight muscle. The first point called Feng Chi, it's gallbladder 20. So you can find this bone, it's called a mastoid process, just behind the ear and go posterior and then you find an indentation right here. You can press that and you feel very sore for 30 seconds or one minute. This point is very important to relax the whole neck muscle and bring the blood flow to your retinas, to your brains. So you will have better vision after you press this. And then the second point we're going to show you is the one which next to C7. So if you find this spinal process, when you bend your head a little bit, there is a bone um, process sticking out. And you'll find this bone mark and then go two inches next to this bone mark. You can use your hand with three fingers from this midline and go to lateral two inches. And that's the point you can press. And this is small intestine 15, which when you press that, you also can relax the trapezius and other muscles, for instance, sternocleidomastoid. So that's another point you can press. And the other important points you can reach with your own hand is called gallbladder 21. So on the shoulder muscle, on the top of the shoulder muscle, you'll find the highest point. And that's between the C7 spinal process and the acromion. Between these two points, you find the highest point. That is the gallbladder 21. It's also called the jian jing. So we use this point not only relax the muscle, but you can smooth your energy flow. And so that's the third point. And the other point, especially for people who use computer a lot, you can uh, find first the angle of the mastoid uh, man man mandible. You find the angle of the mandible. And at the same level, you will locate the points on the posterior border of sternocleidomastoid muscle. And this, this point also help to relax the neck muscle. And the other very important point to slow down the heartbeat and relax um, your mental, your, your mind is, uh, is a, it's called uh, bladder 
15. So it's located uh, at the same level of the T5 and 1.5 inch next to the midline. And this point, you probably cannot reach yourself, but you can ask your partners to press this when you get anxious. Even when you have high blood pressure, if you press that, you can lower your blood pressure instantly, but you have to lie down because if it's too low, you can faint. Now, you do the acupressure every day, but sometimes because you work in front of a computer too much, you still need needles to do the work. So every two, three weeks, you need acupuncture to deeply relax those muscles and also send information to your brain to relieve the pain, to retrain the muscle in a more relaxed state. So let's do the gallbladder 21 at the highest level of the shoulder. So this point, we can needle that. And also the other very important point we're gonna use is the gallbladder 20. So this tool, we can improve your vision and relax the muscle so you won't develop benign positional vertigo or macular degeneration, those problems.